Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a viewer question. I had a viewer, Ak Ovan, wrote and asked whether or not on the analog watch face you have the option for a sweeping second hand. He's an EMT and he wanted that for his work purposes. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the only way you can get a second value on the analog hand, and that's basically by customizing your watch face and adding it in this data field up here. Unfortunately, to answer your question, there's no way to get a sweeping second hand. But if you're on one of the analog watch faces, if you press and hold the menu button, and then you choose watch face by choosing GPS, which is your upper right hand button, and then again, press GPS and choose customize, you can change the values on the watch face. As I've mentioned in some of my videos in the past, this blinking upper right hand circle is going to be the uh, data field that's going to give you the most options. So you can use the up or down button and you can cycle through all of the different data fields you can choose here. You're going to see that one of them is actually a second value. There we go. You can actually choose different options. You can do it where you've got the black background and the white lettering, or if you go all the way down, you'll see the opposite of that same data field, but just a different display option. There we go. So I'm gonna press GPS again. Now you can't put the second field anywhere else. It has to be in this upper right hand corner. So I'm just gonna leave it as so. And now I've successfully added a second value to my analog watch face. The negative of this is that um, it's not a sweeping second hand. It's gonna be a digital second hand. The other thing that's just kind of a point of interest, I don't know if we'll go long enough in this video to show you, but as with most features on this watch, because it uses battery every second to show you that value, if the watch isn't on your wrist for a certain amount of time or there's no movement on your wrist, this value will basically go to blank until, there we go, until it senses movement. You can see how there's no second hand anymore. It's because the watch knows that I'm not moving. It cuts that value off to save battery life. Once I start moving again, it'll turn back on automatically. So Akovan, I hope that answers your question. Uh, at least it gives you an option to have a secondhand value on the analog watch phase. As always, I appreciate you watching the video. Have a good day.